What were we doing? <laughs> we had defined the interface for the task. We had fixed some errors. There was one error left, which was task status. Uh, task status could also be undefined, which are our switch handles, right? Because it has a default, which is to say, just don't show anything if it's not one of the known things, which uh, could be fine. I'm, I'm gonna say it's fine for now. All right, so that made the error go away. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to actually get the values from the data from the task now that we are keeping the result of our, our task uh, API call. Now, generally speaking, because the button is gonna be disabled unless, unless data is ready, um, I guess technically, there isn't a good way to say this function is only called when data is ready, but if data is ready, then the status should be complete. Now we could define this interface slightly differently. Uh, I think actually the, the way the API works is it's gonna return a list. It may just be an empty list or an incomplete list until complete is done. Although I guess it could still be a, an empty list when it's complete if it didn't find anything. Um, but another thing you could do in other circumstances would be to use a, uh, uh, what's it called? like a union type here, where if it's one status, it has certain fields, and if it's a di uh, different status, it has different fields. But I don't, I don't think that's necessary here. So, um, yeah, this should work. Now, how is the UI gonna cope with, uh, whoops, deleted too much. How is the UI gonna cope with uh, having all the data load in? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, we're gonna reload the front end again. Now, right now, the task that had been queued up um, and completed, like on last stream, was not the full stream. It was just like one or two videos from it, I think. So once we see this work, I'm probably just going to um, throw away the results and we'll read Q. The, the light just flickered. I hope I'm not about to lose power. Um, we're gonna re the whole thing and uh, see how that goes with the full stream. One of these is the thing I'm looking for. There we go. Okay, so I'll refresh. So we're saying thanks so much everyone who's uh, hanging out in the stream. I see a lot of people in the uh, the users and chat list, so hello. <laughs> thanks for hanging out. I hope this is um, one of either edifying or entertaining. <laughs> Maybe both. I like coding. And I do like talking. I like talking about coding. <laughs> so I hope you like this too. I guess so, otherwise you wouldn't be hearing this. Anyway, uh, so check status. We have to do each time because the kind of the status of the task is not something we're storing in the stream. It's a separate thing that we have to go and um, read uh, and we can load results. Anything we could do at some point is actually have something like when we're on this tab, automatically check status. Uh, yeah, I'm, I was kind of concerned about the amount of data that we're, we're trying to dump into the UI. There we go. So immediately, one thing I see is that the text field needs to be wider and probably needs to be like a text area. Uh, 
um, and and more things, right? So like the start and end, uh, <laughs> I mean, this makes sense to me and it's all in the same pattern because this is all just like number of seconds, but we could have a nicer format, right? For the transcript. And this is just the first 1200 seconds of that set of videos that were transcribed. I don't know what I was saying here. <laughs> All right, so that seems to work though. It'd be nice if um, it didn't take so long for the, the fields to appear. But if we refresh this, uh, we can kind of exercise end to end how the whole thing works. So we can uh, start the transcription. And so that is going to, uh, it, it already did a thing. We can check status. Uh, it says it's complete. And that is a different, a different number. Is it really? It can't be complete. So what went wrong? Well, let's take a look. So if I click start transcription, we can see the put request here. And okay, so no, that's updating the record. Uh, post to detect. So here's the request. So this format seems wrong. Or okay, so I think our services have different expectations of the URI used. Whoopsie. Right, so we're taking the URIs from the stream record. So in other words, if we go over to video clips, we have a URI in each video clip. And it's like file colon local colon thing. Um, but I'm pretty sure, and we can see if we, if we look in Docker. Maybe if I click containers, there we go, okay. Uh, and if we go to the um, ba -ba 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 transcription API, we should see a bunch of errors of like it failing to find the files because it doesn't know how to parse file colon local colon. Right, it's probably looking for a file called local colon, like this whole thing. Uh, I don't know if we're actually gonna get a useful error out of this, the way things are, but uh, that's my guess. So let's go um, look at the transcription API. Hey, we can look at some more Rust code. Uh, the transcription API and see what we're doing with that. I think I know what's going on, but we can see for sure and see what we'll need to do to fix it. So in our detect segment code, right. So we assume we, we have a very naive URI processing thing where we're just looking for a slash and we're looking for the last thing there. Uh, that doesn't exactly work if there are no slashes. So the question is, do we change the data that went into the database, which would mean like fixing data, or do we figure out some more general purpose way, or do we just change this to be a colon? Or a colon or a slash? Can we pass like a, a regex? The pattern can be a string reference, a char array okay examples split split char is numeric is uppercase or we can pass okay if the pattern is a slice of char split on each occurrence of any of the characters okay so we could do something like this, and it will at least work. Now, is it the best thing to do? Maybe not. Um, where am I? 
am I using Uri.Split? I feel like that's something I've used elsewhere. Uh, okay, so here's another place we were doing a split. This was in Silence Detection. I guess I'll, I'll reproduce the same code here on the assumption that this will work. Uh, that's not the right key, Control S. Control S. Uh, how do I rebuild? Let's see. Uh, up arrow. Like that. All right, let's see how this goes. thinking about power world Foxy do you have power world do you have interest in, in like multiplayer power world I don't know I don't know if I'll stream it You don't have it right now. If you hadn't heard of it, but it looks, yeah, it does really look. So that's the thing is that it looks really adorable, but there's stuff in it that's pretty interesting. Like you can, uh, there are NPCs, like human NPCs in it, and you can put them in a ball. Uh, there was this uh, pirate software short that I saw. It was the first thing I saw about this game, uh, which includes a censored bit. <laughs> But, uh, and then it has, like, you can, there's uh, a bunch of different technologies that you can acquire, and there's base building, and apparently some kind of, like, factory stuff, maybe? Uh, it kind of piqued my interest. I was watching a VOD of someone play, I watched, like, maybe an hour of it before I, uh, passed out. Uh of it. That's pretty cool. Now, is this going to finish before the food gets here? <laughs> yeah, let me know. I did do something that I had not yet done the other day. What day was that? Was that yesterday? No. But uh, the other day, no, it was a couple of days ago, right? Because I, I was, th I think I was telling you about it because I was going through, I had a backlog of videos from past streams. <laughs> yeah, what am I even talking about? Um, I had a backlog of videos from past streams, and I was going through DaVinci Resolve, and uh, but I went into the Discord and I just hung out just to see what that would be like, because that's not something I normally do. But maybe I should do that more. Yeah. I am not an expert, but I have been learning a lot of things about doing video editing and doing stuff with Resolve and Fusion. Yeah.
Maybe that, maybe that's something I could do more of. We could do that in the uh, in the uh, subscriber only uh, channel as a, a reward, <laughs> as a hmm, wording, uh, as a as a, a perk. Yeah. Yep. Have people come in and out, ask questions about stuff, help them, help me. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, I saw you were uh, in the Chilling Channel. I think we might end the, the stream a little early. Uh, because the food is almost here. And honestly, I think, I think we're basically done, right? The thing that's holding this up right now is a thing that was broken from... Not anything to do with what we're doing right now. Um... So I think we're, we're really done with displaying the results. We've, we've already seen that, right? It's just a question of getting uh, everything linked up so that the data from the stream can be used as an input for the transcription. Uh, and once we have that, we can have a full transcription of a stream. And it looks like the thing we just saw. Uh, and the next thing we'll, to do will be to do everything we did in the last two streams for silence detection. Depending on if I have time, I might try to make some progress on that before next Sunday. So we can maybe look at doing other things as well. Uh, maybe actually start um, applying the, the GPT-4 stuff that we worked on long ago to the transcripts. Start working on like UI stuff for defining episodes, that sort of thing. Uh, in fact, that's probably like... Um, a good thing to note here right is so i think this is this is what we're gonna pick up on uh next stream hey mauritania just followed mauritania mauritania <laughs> thank you for the follow welcome um so all of the stuff that i've been working on today is in github um this is not a sit this is not a file um but this is in github uh yeah, welcome, welcome. Um, somewhere I have a tab that has the URL. Hold on, let me... Uh, ba, 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 ba. Here we go. It's called Glowing Telegram. It is an open source project. So there's that. There's also a Discord. Yeah, I think I'm going to wrap things up here. Food has arrived. <laughs> so thanks, everyone, for coming out today for the stream. Uh, it's been real fun.